Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Friday the 23rd of February 2018. I'm Darren Sinden and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Uh, a relatively quiet day yesterday in the world's foreign exchanges. I will just flag a couple of points here, though the Aussie dollar and the Kiwi have lost uh, ground against uh, the US dollar overnight. Uh, the Kiwi down by around 0.5%, as you can see there. The dollar itself has slipped back below that 90 handle as far as dollar index is concerned. Just can't seem to stay above there. I think that's something we should watch over the end of this trading week and into the one ahead. Uh, speaking of trading weeks, uh, the cryptocurrencies have had a pretty poor show over the last seven days. Bitcoin down uh, a smitten over 4.78%, uh, and both Ether and Ripple giving back double digit gains over the last seven days. Right, what's on the calendar then? Events that may move the markets today. Uh, a pretty packed calendar for us to get our teeth into. First of all, be aware uh, that the European Council of Ministers is meeting today and we'll look at what they're going to be discussing a little bit later on in the video. To come then, data-wise, at 7am we'll have uh, gross domestic product out of Germany for Q4 on both a quarter and quarter and year on year basis. And at 10, that'll be followed by uh, consumer price index data out of the Eurozone as a whole, uh, both core and headline. And that data is being produced for January. 12 o'clock sees the first of our central banker speeches of the day, the Bank of England's Ramsden uh, kicking uh, the game off there. 13.30, key data out of Canada in the shape of uh, inflation data, CPI data and core data on inflation for January, obviously feeding directly into the market's expectations about Canadian rates and what the Bank of Canada will do next. 15.15, the Fed's William Dudley will be giving us a speech. Uh, at the same time, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, President Rosengreen, will be speaking. At 1800, we will have the key Baker Hughes oil recount. Uh, always worth watching that one at the end of the week. 18.30 sees another central banker speech, this time in, in the form of the FOMC's Meister. Uh, also, uh, Benoit Kerr speaking at, uh, from the ECB at 18.30. And finally, to round the week off, uh, Esther Williams, the FOMC member, speaking at 20.40 tonight. Right, breaking news and comment then that's caught my eye today. Uh, i just flag three points. First of all, Australia's controversial Deputy PM Barnaby Joyce is forced to resign over an affair. He'd been under pressure for a couple of weeks uh, once the, uh, uh, the scandal broke, uh, but he's finally fallen on his sword. U.S. authorities have moved to block a Chinese takeover of a U.S. semiconductor testing company, and this is the latest example of a tougher U.S. attitude towards foreign trade. And EU leaders are meeting today to discuss a post-Brexit budget. More money is required uh, to fund the EU, but net contributors such as Austria, Holland and Sweden are very reluctant to pay up, so some hardball negotiations likely there. OK, then food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. And why not think about this? There is much discussion about what drives the price of Bitcoin and the so-called network effect under which the value of a network grows as more people use it has been proposed as one such metric. But the chart opposite suggests that this effect has had an influence over the last four months. Uh, and you can see here transactions rising. That's the uh, line in uh, orange uh, at the same time as the price picked up. Uh, into the close of the year and of course they fall together here on the far side very closely. Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange or margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of the products for you, then please contact your Pepperstone account representative. <laughs>